Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a recording of a Momir basic game. I'm Maria from Magic the Amateuring, and I'm joined by my good friend Ben. Hi, I'm also Ben from Magic the Amateuring. Do you recognize us? Do I? I do. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we're playing in a 5-3-2-2 Momir event, and I thought it might be kind of fun to play because you get to see a lot of cards from Magic's history and have some fun, crazy interactions. And also, I love Momir Basic. How much do you love it, Ben? More than you, <laughs> listener. <laughs> positive. He's positive. Let's, uh, let's play first because you want to be on the plane, Momir. I agree. Oh my god, that was so loud in my headphones. Do we need to turn that down? <laughs> Holy nutsack. Is it going to be loud for them when they're listening to it too? Uh, no. I think if I do this, I might be okay. I'm going to keep because, give me a break, I'm not going to mulligan him over. Let's play this mulligan. That's pretty. Ben, what are, what are the Momir tips that you need to give to the good, the good people? Oh, there's so, there's so much. It's so subtle. How, how can you even explain it? First of all, don't make a one drop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Definitely not. Why not? Uh, okay. Second, holy yield. Uh, yeah. I Ooh. mean, that guy's not the worst one drop, but he's still pretty bad. Like, basically, we're just going to get any creature, and then we're just going to blank that. So don't even make a two drop. Nope. Like, he gets in for one damage with his one drop. That's his reward. <laughs> and he gets to hit us for one. Uh, Death Greeter, when another, whenever another creature dies, you gain one life. Yep. You but may gain one but life. But not when he dies. Oh. Which is going to be real soon. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you say um, to people who say Momir is just total random fist? Uh, I say that's, that's the most it's fun. Oh, okay. That's where the joke comes from. Oh, okay. This guy. Yeah, yeah. So this guy can shoot creatures with flying. And then also when he damages a creature, it uh, has like the tap thing. Oh, that looks pretty so good. So that's actually really good. Because most Momir basic games are one with flyers. Mm. Let's get rid of this island. No, I'd keep the island. Get oh. rid of a mountain or something. Just in case we need an island later. Oh, okay. If not, we will, uh... Hmm. <laughs> All right, well. <clears throat> sure. There are some creatures that are super good if you have islands. And then, um, otherwise, you can just pitch the island uh, when you're on turn five or something. But do you want to protect yourself from island walk? Yes. You do want to protect yourself from island walk, which is why I only play islands if I get a creature. That has like an, a bounce ability. Or something. Okay. Ooh, look at this guy. Jesus. Chittering rats. This guy is destroying us. We are being destroyed, by the way. <laughs> are we? Yeah, pretty much. Target opponent puts a card from his or her hand on the top of his or her library. Sick. Yeah, he's basically basically making us discard. So yeah, but whatever, it doesn't matter because we're gonna draw it. Okay. <clears throat> yep. And he's gonna tap down our vigilance guy, and he's gonna get in for one. <laughs> I wouldn't call that being destroyed. Uh, no, that's true. But we do need, um, we we're going to want to skip a drop so we can make it up and go to eight. Okay. Uh, so I play out a mountain and then uh, probably pitch the forest. Um, do you have any reasoning for that? I do. What is it? We can talk about that later. Okay. Uh, I was going to say, oh, god damn. All right. Oh. Yeah, see. This is bullshit. I have to sacrifice this guy unless I sacrifice an artifact, FYI, if you can't read this on your screen. um. Yeah. So basically, goodbye. Yeah, and then he gets his life. Yeah, so I need something to, uh, just to block his shit. We do want to skip a drop at some point so that we can get eight drops. Okay. Uh, but probably not yet because we're in kind of dire no. circumstances. First, we want something to stabilize the ground. It's kind of... Uh, it's actually kind of funny that our three drop was a blank because it was a flyer. Yeah. These flyers are super good. Oh. Also, uh. Hundred handed one. Hundred handed ones. It's probably, he's probably not going to monster us that, but just having a three five vigilance is pretty good. Yeah. Like, what are we going to do? 
But if we get like a four star, we pretty much can't attack. I hope we get some fire breathing with all these mountains. <laughs> So we've got Savage Thalid. At the beginning of the upkeep, put a spore counter on it. Remove three spore counters and put a 1-1 one, one Sapperling onto the battlefield. We can sack a Sapperling to regenerate a fungus, which is probably just going to be that guy. All right, go to attack and see if he's going to let us attack. He is, maybe? No? Nope. Oh, nope. Nope. He got us. He got us. All right, so. Yeah, that card is really good. <laughs> if I was him, I would probably just attack with the 2 -tier. Yeah. Because we don't really want to trade that. For the salad, but he could attack with the three five as well if he wanted to, and I think we would take that trade. Yeah, I'm not gonna sacrifice my five two for the rats. All right, he made an everbark shaman. Okay, whatever. It's like a noisy dog. Oh, this guy. Oh, he's always barking. Uh, yep, so it's blocked three five. You got it. This guy's vigilance and. Gains two. Yeah. All right, we need another something. We really, yeah, play the planes. Uh, so we really want something with toughness. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like I would say four toughness would be like a magic number right now. Huh, okay, three, that's pretty good. And then when he dies, he gets, we get a little bonus. Four life, to yeah. be exact. So now we can't really attack. Attack with his three five, but we'll just block it. And if he attacks with anything else, we'll just take three and eat. Three. All right, he's got an island out. He's getting desperate. So now, depending on what he gets, we probably just want to skip our seven drop because we have stabilized. Oh balls. Okay. Um. Hmm. That's a spiky one. So I still think we just wanna skip here. Yeah, drop a mountain and then skip. Okay. Is he gonna attack us for four with that thing? Yeah. But we'll just take four and then eventually we'll trade away. The last thing we want to do is play a seven drop and then have him drop a swamp and then use his monstrous i mean i don't know yeah i guess he can use his monstrous and gain a lot of life <laughs> God. but he didn't play out of swamp it's yeah. kind of fun um when i actually know what the cards are <laughs> it's easier uh. did you not know what they were well, I mean, like, I don't know. I've never seen yeah. a tribe sniper. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's play that forest. And um, I'd say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Play the forest. Come on. Come on, little guy. You can do it. We're experiencing some lag at the moment. Whew. Fasten your seatbelts. Lag. Did I not do this? No, you didn't. Otherwise, the mana would be showing up. So, Maria, what did you do today? <laughs> well, Ben, I went to work. Oh. The end. Thank you for that glimpse. That the window glimpse that is your into life. my life. Boom. Sweet. All right. So, now we'll attack if he lets us. Oh! Attack! With both? No, it's just with the tutu. Okay. He uh, forgot to tap it down. <laughs> Not that it really matters. Life as we do, but oh, now he's now like, now oops, he's like, oops, oops. But Can't get that two back, buddy. Now we can block the Hythonia. Yeah. Could even attack with seven seven if we wanted to. But uh, yeah, this guy, he's a 7-7 seven, seven. when he dot, or when he leaves the battlefield, we get a 4-4. Four, four. So he's like two creatures in one. Yeah, walk out the door. 
Oh, we saw him in uh, Modern Masters. What's this jazz? That's Vevictus Asmadi. Whoa! He's the Jund Elder Dragon. He looks like a bad beast. He's uh, he's probably the best Elder Dragon because the one you're most likely to have, to have the, the mana, mana for. for. Yeah. And then also, he's got super fire breathing. So you oh, can look at that. pump him. You can pay the upkeep and then also pump him to like a 12-7 if you want. So. so we're just making another 8, I assume? Yeah. We're definitely not attacking because his Osmati is going to die. So we can't pay the upkeep. Yep. So we're going to make the bead. And uh, we got a flyer. 5-6. Pretty sweet. Yeah. He, he can just have that down. But. I mean, yeah, whatever. So you said you wanted to attack? No. No, we don't want to attack. Because he's got a that he's would got, be silly. He's got a super jumper on that dragon. Super jumper. <laughs> super jumper. Yeah, now he's gonna tap down our five six. That's so good. He's basically tapping it's down two flyers. And even if we get another good flyer, he's just going to tap down our two best ones. And it's a two drop. Typically, these games become a race between flyers because the ground will get all clogged up, basically like it is now. Yeah. And then people are just like, uh, I'm, I got a flyer. And then they're like, I got a flyer too. Ah! <laughs> Did he get the same thing? He got the same thing again. <laughs> Man, if we got that Elder Dragon, we also couldn't pay for it. That's true. We didn't draw any swaps this game. We're super unlucky. That's weird. Must have been bad people in a past life. Oh, I was for sure. I robbed a lot of trains. Train robber? Yeah. Okay. What did you do? Um, I ate way too much cake. What? <laughs> this is not right. It's crazy. Some, All right. This is a something is happening. Come on, magic. Don't you have any other random numbers? I didn't want to tap down our 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay. I think we should play... That we should be playing our guys post-combat. Since he's... Tapping down our flyers beforehand. Oh, okay. Something to think about. If it is another dragon, what will you do? I'll eat a brick. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Ben will eat a brick. Uh-oh. Uh, Terracidon. So this will turn three non-creature permanents into... We'll destroy three non-creature permanents, and we'll, and the, their controller will get a 3-3 three, three elephant for each one, which... Um, yeah, it's, uh, that sucks. It's a tough pill to choke down. And it makes me put him in the graveyard. Just insult to injury. You know what I'm talking about. So, yeah. We got a ton of creatures right now. And his 9-9 nine -nine is not really good here because he can just try 7-7. So just keep making, putting uh, in all lands? I would what? actually hold that island. Okay. And just pass back in. Should I, I shouldn't even make anything? No. Why? He doesn't have any good attacks, so there's not any real reason for us to make a creature. And we'd prefer to just keep making our own. The reason I'm holding the island is because we don't really want to play out an island, and um, next turn, if we play we'll that out, and then we'll have a land to play. Okay. If that makes any sense. Yes. Drum roll. Oh, monstrosity. Oh, okay. Not a terrible play. I guess that's another reason for us to... Oh, God. Oh, my God! He gains a lot of life. We do get a 4-4. Four four. <laughs> and so now next turn, we definitely need to make just, just in the hopes that we can get something to double block his 7-9 Wow. Short work of us. Look at those go. <laughs> yeah, we definitely have a hole to climb out of. I, guess, I, I, I 
still maintain that one drop for me. <laughs> Just my opinion. Okay. What is the highest life you ever had on Lomir? Um, I think I had like 90 life once. We're just letting this through, so. Yeah. Because okay. we get a. Yeah. This is like blood. You know how it is. Play that forest. Fish that island. Yeah. Fox offering? Yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> yep, see, now we can double block. Nice. And, um. We're still on the back foot because we have six lands to his nine. And we can keep making good stuff. And um, we just have to kind of hope that we'll have a chance to get back up to eight. Keep making eight drops. Yeah. <laughs> Box offer? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what? Okay, so this guy, Blazing Archon. Creatures can't attack you. I mean, yeah. it's probably good. <laughs> it's, it's pretty good. Okay, double block. Off it. Mm, all right, so now he has a 5 6 flyer, which is actually more relevant than having the creatures can attack you ability right now. Yeah. Um, so now we have to decide do we want to make a 6 drop to try to answer that thing, or do we want to wait until 7 and then make a 7 drop to try to answer that thing? Is What do you think? Is a 6 drop promising in this situation? No, there's. I mean, there are a handful of six drops that would be like a six six flyer. Yeah. That would get us out of this. Probably wait. Um you know, there there are enough actually that there's like fifteen, I think. Okay. There's like three cycles of, of them <laughs> out of a lot. <clears throat> but I think we should just do it because okay. otherwise we can be pretty dead pretty fast. Well, we got a 1-1. One, one. We got a chumper. We got a chumper. Draining Welk. Um, when it enters the battlefield, counter target spell. That's why he's only a 1-1. One, one. Put X 1-1 one, one counters on him, where X was at spells converted mana cost. It's only there a spell, but we are in a spell desert. We known, are. Known as Momir Basic. It's kind of fun not to have to worry about any kind of combat tricks. Well, that's good. <laughs> We're super boned. That's another reason why. I don't uh, no, don't block it. Okay. I mean, we're only taking five here. <laughs> Lots of ball. We're gonna want that thing. All right, make a six drop. Come on, big money. Three two. We have to chump his 7-7 seven, seven and sacrifice two lands. <laughs> Those Eldrazi are pretty cool. Yep. Although this one is pretty bad. He's just a... Uh, I mean, he just has an... Not that impressive. He made a 5-5 five, five flying trample, rampage 4. Yep. All right, so back of forest, why not? Well, <clears throat> and then block his seven seven with the one one, and I really don't think there's anything that's gonna allow us to win this game, but we can let us try it for something. Okay. Come on, five drop. Come on, five drop. <laughs> Tapped. All right. Pass the turn back to him. Um, I like the flavor text on that. Yeah, totally. Who who wouldn't? What do you? Oh. Yeah, I just let him cast. Okay. Just can see actually. Uh, yep. So that didn't go too well. No. Okay, we'll concede. Do -do -do. Um. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, is eight, your deck just 12, 12, 12, 12? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, cool. Just submit the deck then. Okay, so then you don't have to sand it in if you're likely to draw them. <coughs> All right. So this time we're gonna win. We hope that. We <laughs> but honestly, if he's making a one drop every game, like I would say the odds are in our favor. Especially if he does it on the on the play, it's really bad on the play. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> a 1-1. One, one. Okay. With the soul shift. Yeah. I have to pass it back in. <coughs> soul shift does nothing in this format if you are watching and don't know what it does. Uh, it lets you get spirit creatures out of your graveyard. But uh, there are never creature cards in the graveyard, so there's, there's nothing to do. Oh, uh, we got another quite awesome dude. This is a mana producer. Oh my god. Uh, the red red when it attacks is one of the relevant abilities. Because you're rarely going to have anything to spend that mana. Yeah. But just making one extra mana means he is, it's like he is on the point for us. Sad. And it <coughs> also means he's not punished for playing a one drop. So eight. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that is. Gateway that, shade. That is a pretty sad. Three dot. Uh, he's basically never going to use that ability. Holds back his one one though. Yeah. <laughs> Promise, Kanushi, suck it. Ramadan Blazer. Ah, worthless. What's he digging around in there for? Yeah, it's a pretty mediocre four drop. Yeah, let's just block this. Another mountain? Yep. Mountain party. And, uh, yeah, pitch uh, the plains or whatever. Oh, we also get a four mana two two. All right. Nice. Oops, Nothing significant happens in these games until you start making eight drops. Okay. Well, I'd like to make something significant happen right now. What? What are you saying? I'm going to be running for president. Oh, wow. I just thought I'd announce it right now. Okay, so he's a landfall guy. Or land in his battlefield under your control. You may have target player lose three life if you do. Put three plus one plus one counters on Ob Nixilis the Fallen. Yes. So How come our cards suck shit? So now we're going to like really lose, and I would not even block that. Really? Yeah. Just to block that other guy? Well, yeah. We're going to save more life by blocking that guy, probably. And uh, so now pitch the island. And we have a small chance of being able to double block it or something. Okay. Do this damage equal to the number of red mana symbols on permanent control. To target creature. Oh, okay. So we can <gasps> shoot his mana producer. Can we, we can't. Oh no. We, yeah, we, can we can kill it. Oh, we can kill his three three. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> Sounds good. That's another reason why you shouldn't block. <laughs> In case you get a chroma removal spell. <laughs> and we just happen to have red dudes out. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Oh god. All right. Good times. Should I attack him? Uh, yeah. Labyrinth. Get in, there. get in there. Yeah, we should attack since oh, no, it is. If he attacks back, we can block. He's definitely not attacking with his mana maker. No. Whew. Yeah, usually. Wow, that was cool. Usually, if your opponent gets a guy like him, he's just in real trouble. Paladin of Prov. He has fake lifelink. He has stack link. Stack lifelink. <laughs> he uses the stack. And now he's gonna attack. Yeah, we can block that. What if we get another chroma attached? <laughs> well, one reason not to block would be if 
be able to double block his three four, but it's fine. Oh yeah. Oop. Oh yeah. See. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, that's real good. So now we're in, <clears throat> now we're in good shape for sure. Because we can deal five to ten, and we can't really attack with his paladin yet. We might be able to like chump attack him at some point just to gain some life. But uh, we should we can probably just block that all day. Stack link. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Makes it slightly worse if he's going to use it just to gain some life. But it doesn't even add a turn to his clock. Yeah. If he's on a five turn clock right now. I like that it says forecast. But yeah, I see he got a oh, fire too. Balls. Which is pretty likely. I mean, fires get more frequent when you get into the sevens and eights. Yeah. And still wish we were still one ahead of him. Don't we all, sister? Yeah. Alright, let's make it, make the seven drop. There is a seven drop that will cause you to instantly lose the game. What? Oh, we don't get it. We get a real sweet one. Iridescent angel flying. Protection from all colors. <laughs> Protection from all colors. Most things in Momir are colored. <laughs> Seems pretty good. Sorry, that does not. Uh, this is the max. <laughs> Ben is the really F2 key on the Mac makes the symbol of Heliod show up. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, so this 4-4 can only be blocked by artifact creatures with flying. Nice. Ooh, he's got a Baleful Force. This is one of the new commander cards, I believe. And it... Uh, gets some more cards. That's pretty good. some more cards, but it also gets some life. So... So we'll make an 8 drop and then we're probably attacking. Let's just yield to that. Ooh. Yeah, I'll play that swamp. What are we gonna get? Come on! What are we gonna get? Oh, oh. boy. Alright, attack with our 4-4. Four, four. Okay. Four, four. And then so now we have a 9-9. Nine, nine block his 7-7. Seven, seven. So he is flyer if he wants to attack with it. We do have to sacrifice him if we have to return to this guy. Obviously we're sacrificing the champion first. Yeah. But then we kind of need to keep coming up with creatures to feed him. But uh, he is a 9-9 nine, nine trampler in the air, which is hard, That's awesome. hard to deal with. And even if he can double block it, then we just eat his best flyer and we don't have to... Uh, Meet a 7-6 dumb guy. Sack a dude every turn. Yeah. Alright. Yield to that. And click on the champion. Bye. Alright. We'll make a dude now. So, Ben, what is your theory on, like, 8 drops are the best to just keep making? Yeah. They're pretty much awesome. Okay. So now let's just attack with everything. <laughs> Actually, no, there's no reason really to attack with the 5-6. We'll keep it back as a blocker, but definitely attack with the other two. Let's see if he wants to. I mean, he could block the 9-9 to try to soak up some damage, but shit. So we got Avacyn Angel of Hope. Flying, Vigilance, Indestructible. Other permanents that I control are indestructible. Yeah, everything's indestructible. But if we ever want to make something destructible, we can always sacrifice that to the Devouring Stalkers. Oh, sure. Boom. Nice. All right. He makes. We have two lethal flyers, both of which, both of which are indestructible, and one of which has regenerate. Yeah. So I feel pretty good. Uh, I mean, I think he can get if he gets like a hover guard's mirror uh, or uh, uh, hover guard sweepers, then he's not just dead. Yeah, so, ooh, it's a good one. Sundering Titan. He's gonna destroy some of our lands. Oh, but actually, he can't because they're, they're indestructible. indestructible. <laughs> but even if he could destroy our lands, we'd still have lethal. So, 
pretty much just dead. Yep. He's going to target him anyway because he has to. Yeah, I like how they say indestructible on him. Look at that. Yep. Adorable. All right. So, uh, yep, on our turn, just sack the gin. What's yeah. he doing? I don't know. I'm trying to use, you can only use Moment Vig once per turn, FYI. So. Oh, okay. He's probably like, I'll make a one drop. Maybe. Fly maybe he's just jump. trying to waste our time. We only have nine minutes left, so maybe his be. only strategy is to clock us. Remember when we thought his 3-3 three, three landfall was going to kill us? Yeah. That was, we were so young. We were young and dumb, Ben. Goodbye, Jin. Yep. All right. Just kill him? Kill him. Yeah, you do not want to make a drop if you can just win. Should I just attack with all of them? Yeah. Okay. Do you? Um, because there are eight drops that can return all cards to your hand. Attack. Or various bad things like that, so. If you can just win, just win. I like it. Smart strategy. He kept seven cards. There's his one drop again. What's it going to be? Is it going to be significant? My money is on no. I'm going with Ox. Ox, the yep. 04? The 04. Ooh, it has Island Walk, so we definitely don't want to play an Island. Not yeah. that we were going to. Um, we pass. And then we can start pitching Islands right away since we're okay to play them. Although if we got a Bounce Guy, we would probably still play out Islands. Yeah. There are like, there are three, four drops that you can pay blue, blue, or bounce. Okay. So I like to Sliver have the there. option of playing blue mana just in case. So that's why I have islands in my deck. And there Some are... people don't have islands. I'm not yeah. making a two drop, am I? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, okay. People are in the draw. Oh yeah. Goodbye. 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one flyer. That's pretty good. The ability, if it has the target <laughs> ability, we have to sack it. Which is relevant. There's some abilities that can cause us to sack that, but blocking stuff, we're just going to be beating him down for two. They're Vaporkin. Oh, he is a little Vaporkin. Really fucking ugly Vaporkin. And it looks like he's going to skip his three. Yeah. So he's paying the price now. Forest? Yep. Forest. Maybe guy. Two, two. And then attack with our. Yep, so our three drop just blanked his one drop and his two drop. Yeah. So that's, I mean, that's why I don't make one drops, because they basically yeah, get blanked irrelevant. by every three drop and most, even most two drops. I guess there are, I mean, there are three mana one ones and stuff out there, but they just get blanked so fast. Four, four flying. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're not attacking this turn. But if he doesn't, he's going to take four off of this thing at least. So At the beginning of your upkeep. Yeah, okay. so he's going to take four from that at the beginning of his upkeep. So that's better than his attacking. And then, unless he, keeps, unless he can manage to drop more artifacts or get a sack outlet, then he's going to get trouble. Okay. So this guy prevents one damage to target creatures, and then also creatures that it shares a color with, which is really fucking complicated, but uh, okay. yeah, so just pass. <coughs> so yeah, just yield to that ability. He's taking four. He's in nice. rough shape. He's nice. in rough shape. Especially since now he has to keep making guys to try to get him out of this. Oh. 5 1, Mirror Mad Phantasm. Yep, so he has a 5 1 flyer. Okay. Made a 1 5. Look at that llama! It's a 1 5 that can deal, gain life when it deals damage. Um, I think we. I mean. I guess we can just hold the ghost back if he attacks us. 
Yeah, might as well. This is a fire too. Oh no, it's not. No, it's not. It's just blue. It's just a blue guy with an axe. I like looking at the ghost. Yeah, he's he's on a four turn clock now, so he is in rough sheep. Artifacts are pretty rare. I mean, they're not the rarest, but you could easily go the rest of the game without dropping an artifact, so. Bingo spider. Three, yep. four reach. Sure. Not coming in with the phantom. Probably makes sense. He, um, if we hit him for two. Yeah, we can do. If we can, uh. Hit him with our two on fire, then we're actually reducing his clock. But yeah, just pass the turn back. Our what we got? Yeah. The creature with what? Haste is one we have black creature. If we had a red creature, it would also have haste. And uh, yeah, I guess we would have attacked with it. Sense. Uh, Rattle blade scarecrow. That's a cool name. He doesn't really have blocks. He could block with his tangle spider, but. That's a good thing to you really want to kill a reach guy. Oh, man. <laughs> He's, okay, so this card makes him mill seven cards every turn. Oh, God. So, like, his own... Card is killing. His own cards are going to, like, Our killer. double kill him. Mm, a seven drop. It is a dude that makes a lot of dudes. Okay. Um, we're not going to attack with our 5 3 now because we can just eat it with this. So, should we just sit here? Yep, we're just sitting here. Might as well, he's killing himself. Yeah. <laughs> Ball Spicer would have been a good one for him to get because then you'd have two dudes to sack. Put it, put it in your grave. Have you, have you ever milled anybody? I have milled people out in the game, and usually it's their own cards that mill them out. Uh, there was one where. I had a creature that would let, that would make target play by X cards, where X is the number of cards in your hand or something. Yeah. And so I would, I would use that on me at the end of my turn, and then on him during my turn, make him discard a million. Uh, yeah. Make a guy. Uh, we should probably make these. But whatever. There's our nine nine friend. There's our nine nine again, right? Just pass it back to him. Yep. He's going to take four this turn, and then next turn we can attack with... He made that. It didn't save him. Yeah. Five, six, four. He could, th he could theoretically get out of this. He could kill his own seven, seven. But um, if we attack with both of our flyers next turn, assuming he doesn't get another flyer, then that'll be lethal. So. Okay. Because he'll have to block with the two one, so it's lethal. And then Trample will get him because he can only absorb four. Yep, that thing does not do it. Nope. So he's just a 3 4 with Intimidate. Made it! You did it, Ben! After game one, it did not seem like it. High five. High five. All right, we'll see you back here for round two.